Entertainment Watch, 2020 is measuring up to be a memorable year, not just for the unprecedented widespread effects of the pandemic, but also for climate change. CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli joins us now. He's here to talk about all things weather and more. Jeff, we've got three storms that could make landfall over the weekend. It seems really early to be at the heart of hurricane season. Why all this activity now? Well, the ocean temperatures are super warm right now. We're at a historic pace. We've never been so far along in the alphabet. We're on the H storm, uh, and we're probably pretty soon going to be on the next storm. Uh, so we are definitely on record pace. And one of the reasons, at least, is because water temperatures across most of the tropical Atlantic are either at record levels or just below record levels, but certainly in line with historic levels of extremely warm water uh, in most of the Atlantic basin, especially in the tropical Atlantic, as you can see. Well, we've got a bunch of tropical storms. Uh, Hannah, um, another one who is approaching the, Car the Caribbean is Gonzalo. And Douglas has already reached hurricane strength and is headed for Hawaii. What can you tell us about these three potentially uh, big uh, storm fronts? All right, so let's talk about Hannah first, because that's the first one that's most imminent. That's going to be making landfall tomorrow morning along the uh, coast of Texas. It's getting better organized. Earlier today, it was just a minimal tropical storm. Now it's kind of a robust middle-of-the-road tropical storm. And by tomorrow morning, right before it makes landfall around Corpus Christi, it could very well be a Category 1 hurricane. It's be very close. Hurricane warnings in effect, storm surge warnings in effect. Storm surge could be about two to four feet. So it could be life-threatening if you're right by the coast. If you're asked to evacuate, it probably would be a good idea uh, to do so. So um, when it makes landfall, winds could be right around 75 miles an hour. And as far as rainfall goes, uh, look at the purple. Look at the white. That's anywhere between 8 and 12 inches of rain. That's a lot of rain. So there will be some flash flooding from rain from Hannah. The worst of it's tomorrow, and the worst of it is anywhere from around Port Lavaca all the way down to around Corpus Christi and Brownsville. And uh, talk about the other two storms as well. Yeah, let's, let's let's talk about Gonzalo out in the Caribbean and Douglas uh, heading over for Hawaii. What can you tell us about those two? Okay. Sure. So as far as Gonzalo goes, uh, Gonzalo is approaching the southern part of the uh, Lesser Antilles right now. And it's going to be making landfall tomorrow in and around uh, Grenada, um, St. Lucia area, St. Vincent um, it was originally forecast to be a hurricane. Now it's probably just going to maintain its tropical storm status and then eventually weaken as it gets into the Caribbean. So as it stands now, and things could change, so got to keep an eye on it, but as it stands now, it'll probably die in the Caribbean graveyard. When storms are that far south, they tend to have a hard time kind of strengthening. So right now it looks like that one is probably going to be weakening. But the other one in the Pacific, that is a monster. So this storm has had winds between 120 and 130 miles an hour. It's Hurricane Douglas. And it's going to be approaching the big island of Hawaii on Saturday late in the day, so tomorrow late in the day. And then probably either making a landfall or near landfall in Maui on Sunday. Now, it's not going to be a Cat 3 anymore. It'll weaken probably to a Cat 1, maybe a strong tropical storm. But if it does make landfall in Hawaii as a hurricane, believe it or not, it's going to sound strange, this would only be the third hurricane on record to make landfall in Hawaii. That's in modern times, so over the past 100 years or so. Um, typically, hurricanes weaken as they get to Hawaii, but still, this could cause mudslides. It could cause flash flooding, and there could be some power outages. And again, wing us over 75 miles an hour with Douglas. Well, I want to follow up with, with what you were saying, in particular ar around uh, Hannah. Um, obviously, you should follow local guidance. If they say evacuate, that's that's the best thing to go with. But with all this happening during a global pandemic, I'm, I'm wondering where people are able to go and, and could this year potentially even be more damaging than in years prior? So a couple of questions there. Uh, one of them is, as far as Hannah goes, I mean, I, you know, at this point, you have to exercise your own um, opinion on this. Um, if this was a really big hurricane, I would say you just you just have to go. The, the, the danger of the hurricane, the urgency of that is worse than, than COVID, let's say. But in this case, you know, uh, it, it really depends on how these facilities are set up. Now, they've had plenty of time, local officials and FEMA, to figure this out before the season. What were they going to do if they had to issue evacuations? And the idea was that they were going to start early. Well, they didn't get much, much um, advance notice on this as far as a hurricane goes, because it wasn't predicted to be a hurricane a couple of days ago. Now it is. That does make it difficult. Your other question was, uh, is it going to be more damage this year? Well, that we can't answer. But what I can tell you is I think this is going to be probably 
the second most active hurricane season in modern times. 2005 had 28 storms. This one's on pace to probably see 20. The record behind 28 storms in 2005 is probably around, 20, I think it's 20 storms. So if we get to 21, 22, we would break that. So, And I think we're on that pace. Honestly, it's going to be extremely active and some very intense storms likely this year because water temperatures are literally jet fuel. It's like steroids out there in the Atlantic right now. Yikes. Jeff Berardelli, thank you for watching all of this for us.